Hey, welcome back. Boy, did you miss a lot. It's a few days later. Amber and Zeppi are out here working on this thing with me. Let me show you what I dealt with off camera and it was a total accident and I did not have time to get the camera out. Plus it was dark. I, you couldn't see what I was doing, but <laughs> let me show you a mess. Amber's in the back because Amber wants to decorate already. <laughs> anyway, I got the seat out, got everything out. And there's my beautiful floor that I made out of galvanized, it's, uh, what do you call it, corrugated steel. And I've been trying to think of ways that I could beef this up a little bit. There ain't much I can do as far as bolting anymore on the side, so I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to put, you know, things in there, a little bit better stability where your feet go and where, like, the new seats that I got. There's one of the... There's one of the rails uh, and it has to bolt back here so I'm going to have to make some extra bracing and it will fit perfectly in the, one of the original bolts. Now, this thing had a water leak, not up here, it's all good, but in here, when it go down in that cow, it was coming over into here and it was just pouring out. That's the start of my day and let me get in there and show you. Yeah. Ain't that a good looking hole right up there i think we can get it right there is the blower motor and it's free never could get it to work but the little piece that goes in there is actually like a, a i don't know it's like a funnel that goes up and hooks to that and it's over here and it was leaking badly and it, it chose violence and i had to get it out there was no other way so I got that out and I put the water back up in there like it was no big deal and it was just pouring right here That's be why that is all rusty. Okay now I thought that was the only thing I had to deal with Completely didn't think about the other side So as the water was going in the center of the cowl out there, I was just had a hose. I mean, I was just giving it the beans water started pouring over that side I mean the cow co the kick panel cover was on and it looked like a waterfall coming over it and it was coming out of the dash coming out of everywhere and just pouring in and turns out that was plugged so here's what we got to do i have the cover for that side see it right there behind the pedal and this side was the exact same size hole so i have this sheet metal i have a couple pieces a couple for in here and random places well then i'm going to use the cover for that side and i got that all it was blocked off it was full of leaves and mouse crap and all kinds of stuff so was this side got it all undone so now i'm going to take the cover from that side on a piece of sheet metal out there and we're going to cut it to fit this shitty hole and then i'm going to silicone it and we'll self taffer it because i want to be able to take that back off i don't want it to stay in there so as far as the floors go that's just how they're gonna be there ain't a lot left there and turns out this this worked pretty good i did get new paint and i got some kill mat to put on top of it all right so here's our plate from the other side i'm gonna give it extra from there you can trim that down but i'm gonna run this out about an extra half an inch and there we go yeah. I need a nibbler. Yeah, that sucks. So this will fit right there. That, hard to do one-handed, but that's gonna fit that perfectly-ish, just like that. Problem is, 
that leaves this little hole right here and that's going to be hard to take care of but we never let the factory stop so this I beat that in with a sledgehammer so it'll sit flat and I'll just slip a self tapper in there we'll seal that up and we'll just let it all go in there I am gonna seal this up with some silicone or I got some liquid nail I think is what I'm gonna use why not or gorilla but it'll work I'm just make sure she's good and sealed up first I gotta paint that I want some rust oleum on that or something so I'll get back with you when we're getting ready to put this in what are you doing well, I took that beautiful metal grate that was oh, covered, yeah, huh? and I sanded it down and spray painted it. Wow, this is the fresh air vent, and it is stuck solid. Probably won't be able to do nothing with that. Everything back here is just destroyed. She's been working on it for about two years, so probably longer than that. All right, got to do some painting. So while we're waiting for that paint to dry, I got all my stuff ready to put back in there. We know it's going to get dark on me tonight, and tomorrow's Easter, so I've got the morning, so I'm going to be doing stuff well into the evening tonight. It's starting to get nice out, it's just the way it goes. So, my friends at Hyperlight sent me a light, because they've seen my videos, they saw how dark it was, and they said, we got a light for you, you need to try it. So once I get it all together, we test it out and such, and down in the description there will be a link to it, on Amazon for this light that I have. I've already cut it open and it comes pretty well equipped. Self-explanatory. Pretty awesome really. And I had no idea how big this light actually was. So let's see this. Yeah. Yeah. Take that off. Well, there's extra stuff there we gotta go through. Take that off. Look at that thing. Ha! <laughs> Woo! It is as heavy as it looks, too. Completely movable. Take these little Allen wrenches, you loose them up, and you can set this wherever you want it. That thing is built well. I imagine that's a, I'll have to look at the instructions, I imagine that's a, a fuse or something like that, but wow, yeah, Hyperlite, this is the number we got here, Sirius Series, Reliable Solid Bright, this one is 16 by 9, and it's 2.2 inches thick, 15.4 uh, from top to bottom, 16 by 9 wide. Uh, it is 200 watt, 28,000 lumens. So you know it's got to be good. Five year warranty. That's. See, now that kicks ass. That kicks ass. Now, the one thing is about this light, this is meant to be. You know, you set it up somewhere and it pops on. You can put you, uh, you know, like something to detect when it starts getting dark and just come on like a street light. I've been arguing with my electric company forever about getting a street light up here. And they said we don't need it because there's nothing back here. Okay. We get people from the highway and all kinds of stuff just decide to come walking through here. I got a lot of nice cars. Anyway. That's not their problem, I guess. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take the absolute cheapest connector and hook her up. And by the time we get this done, I should be able to start putting that all together. And then when it starts getting dark, we'll, we'll test this thing out. So anyway, pretty self-explanatory. But nice cabling, nice everything. Yeah. Should be ready to roll. So what I do with my power. That power wire somewhere. Oh yeah. 
Woo, that sucker puts out some heat. Hey, we'll wait till dark. This is gonna be nice. All right, we'll try it in a little bit. I'm blind now. <laughs> Damn. What is going on? Well, this is the stupidest. Blowing out the back. That's great. Made a mess. There you go. Looks terrible, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work just fine. It's all uh, sealed up, should be. I don't think it's gonna leak. And if it does, at least it won't be near as bad as it was. I had it pretty extreme, but I mean, it's not bad. I just don't want it to leak in there as much as I can. That side over there would be fine. We'll just put the cover back on. Uh, I'll have to get me an extra long uh, machine head to get this cover on, but it shouldn't be a problem. Damn, I got that shit everywhere. Never was good with that stuff. Never was good with it. Get all this picked up. I don't mind it being on there. I'm gonna paint it. We're gonna paint all this. Probably get to that pretty soon here. That way it'll be dry by tomorrow and I can start maybe working on the kill mat stuff. I got kill mat to put over all this. And I am gonna screw some metal down on top of this. That way it's got a little bit more solid place for your feet. Back here I'm not so worried about, but I am gonna build me some more bracing for my new seat pedestals. They come all the way back to about right here. And I wanna make sure that they are solid and there's something there but not right there so we're going to put something across there and maybe this way i don't know we'll figure that out but starting to get dark so we may have to turn that light on here pretty soon i'm sure that'll suck down the juice that's all right it's illinois look how bad could the electric bill be Let's see what she does huh Whoo! good lord if I had this up on something up here, 
Look at that. I need something to put this on, don't I? Because, wow, that lightens up the place quite a bit. Yes, sir. So I need to find a stand. I need to put this up on a stand somehow. My God. That's crazy. Look at that. It's off. There's on. They don't seem to mess with the camera either. That's that's even better. Huh. Okay. What if I uh, stuck this up here for now? Is that enough for... Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. That is a bright light now. Might need another one. I put one on a stand on each side. All I know is when I get this all finished and I can put, you know, put the top on. Can you imagine those in an all white inside? Yeah, I ain't missing nothing. Anyway, let me show you what I've been doing. So while I'm waiting for all that in there to dry, I've been dealing with this. See that hole right there? And I got a light to go in here too. This is just something to do. And I managed to get those out on both sides. Those are the uh, seat belt. And then I noticed this underneath that seat belt part. And that's not good. So guess what we're doing? We're going to glass over that. I'm going to, you know, clean it up as best I can. And we'll just glass over it. But that up there, I'll probably glass over too. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Here's and there's in here. The other side's got a hole that's similar to this one, but it's just smaller. I'm sitting there talking with a cigarette in my mouth. Probably sound like an idiot. And I am. So, that's what we're doing. And then we'll figure out a way to get a piece of metal on that. May hit it with the old big El Cabon. My Downy flattened some of those out. But I ain't taking this off. It's, it's solid and I do not want to mess with it. That's just how it's going to be. So, onward. All right, so I've been hard at it in here with the old scratcher. Just getting her down to nothing. And I ran out of rust converters, so i got to run town and get some real quick before they close. So, yeah, and we're going to probably fill those in somehow. But i got a couple to fill over there. We may use a little more fiberglass than I thought I was going to in here, but... Yep, I'm going to run to town. I'll be back. Coming along. So... I got that all sprayed down. She's blackening out. And then I found that. You want to see what it, how bad it really is down there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I suppose if I wanted to do it right, I could order the floorboards. I'll bet I could make them work. Except for up there in the corner, I'd have to, I'd have to really dig into it. But, you know, this side's already dry. And I'll probably just take some damn, what you call it, probably some short strand and just fill in the holes that'd be better than that'd be better than styrofoam you know spray foam so oh what can we do now and all they had was that permatex shit i never used it smells exactly the same as the other stuff i was using but whatever it worked i guess so yeah and just keep on moving along here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I'm still waiting for that crap to dry. Uh, I guess I could start painting the other side, I guess. We can do that. We'll just restore that real quick with some X2, 2X, whatever that shit is. So, that's a look at what it'll look like. You won't be able to see, you know, any of the crap because there's going to be nice carpet over this kill mat underneath the carpet i am however going to put pieces of metal under there and that kill mat sticks so i may just put the kill put that down and put the kill mat over it and it'll keep that in one spot but i went ahead and did this and i'm gonna sand this down and we're gonna put something in that i'm not sure yet we may use short strand i don't know but that'll help keep that, you know, sturdy. But, yeah, it ain't too bad. 
one coat I'll uh, I'll put another one on it unless you want to see me sit here and yeah I, I doubt it you know let's just this is what I'm doing that's what I did there you go all right now yeah, let's start cleaning up the other side I suppose we'll get that other front one done I'm not sure what I'm gonna do back here yet because of the seat brackets okay so work in progress still blowing shit out from under it that right there that was under the dash that's beautiful I'm trying to get most of it cleaned out as best I can oh, I'm high as a kite hey y'all it's the next day I just got worn out it's Easter so let's get with this huh I need something to drive to Easter so I thought I'd pick one of the neglected cars that one was suggested but it's got fan trouble so let's see if we can get jabby going he's been running a while so yeah i guarantee this car is dead i can already see yep there's zero voltage on the meter and the reason there's zero voltage on the meter is because when i'm in a hurry like an idiot i just hook that voltmeter straight to the battery or to the alternator or something like that you don't do that but i can already tell oh yeah she did let's get the hood open and get the jump pack on it so this one has an extra extra secret place to pop the hood and it hurts oh. yep let's set you right there i can get her off the click and there it is damn what is going on with her hood oh there it went there's our 150 horsepower of glory. All right, got my jump pack. Yeah, I didn't have this and I thought, why not? And one there, this one's nice. It's got air compressor on it. It's got all kinds of stuff. And one there, and one there on she's on what's all this crap i guess that's the jumper oh tire inflator whoa ye lights <sighs> Let's see what she does now please have something please have something Oh yeah, eh. my secret, super secret switches and knots. Deader than shit. Ooh, this thing's really dead. Well, we'll shut that off. Really dead. Oh, smoky. Well, that's not good. The thing's brand new. Woo! Hot. What the f man? Did it burn up? It sure as hell did. That thing is smoking. What? How? I. Okay. Looks like it still works. All the lines are hot as hell, though. Let that cool down a bit, I guess. Everything still works. What's this little dude? That where all the that's where the hose is. Ooh, and all the connections. Boy, that thing is still smoking. 
hell is what okay so I hooked him back up after it cooled um, I'm not exactly sure what that means but it can't be good clamps reverse they are not reversed I know this for a fact because red goes right to red so what have we got going on in Javi? Okay, it's saying clamps are reversed. They are not, in fact, reversed. Well, we're gonna have to deal with this another time, but that's not good. That thing is smoking like a sieve. Smoking like a freight train. All right, well, that's that. I gotta get this thing up to, uh, up to the shop somehow but I don't know I think we'll just wait let's get back to work on that damn ambulance okay back to important things so we need to get these holes filled and I did peel this all back I'm gonna sand that down and I am going to put filler in all that so water doesn't come up and over and we'll get it right there and there's some up in here right here and then the same places on the other side i've already kind of used the scratcher and just kind of went over them should be fine and then we got to worry about getting probably work on getting the seat stuff figured out i gotta figure out how to do that so let me mix up some crap okay this is the last of my evercoat and it is hardened and perfect i put it underneath here and strap that thing down real quick smooshed that way we don't get any water coming up like that that over there is my new stuff and that's the dura glass and that's not uh that's not drying near as fast i don't know what the deal is there but i was hoping to get that sand down to be done like start working on other things but well oh, this side's ready to go i'm just gonna you know kind of rough sand all that you don't see it anyway so i'm not worried about it and i'll paint it and then i'll get the back of this cleaned up and we'll paint the rest and hopefully that stuff will dry here soon it's taking its candy ass time but i got the little panel that goes on there all painted up cleaned up and i'm ready to stick that on and that just leaves getting this thing situated and how i'm going to put the seats in so and i got to go to easter sunday stuff here real soon yeah yeah even me i even do the easter stuff so let me let this cure a little while so I've been kind of fiddle farting around trying to get a seat ready to get in there so I can measure out and see what kind of metal I need to brace it right and I bought pro car by scat which is what I have in Bonnie our Buick everything's fine so I bought the kit from Speedway Motors that is their universal setup and everything with the brackets and the floor mount and it just supposed to go right to this pro 90 seat put it in the car no not today let me show you a couple things so here's the seat setup right yeah I didn't do that right I'm gonna fix that or doesn't matter because this shit's going back there's their setup followed their instructions which by the way didn't come with it I had to download them and this comes with the pro 90 seat this all this bullshit does not fit this bullshit so i thought okay i'm not i don't have time to deal with this shit so i'm just gonna make my own well guess what these bolts don't even fucking line up i've loosened them put them in put them out did everything i supposed to do to get that in there not today ain't that just grand seats garbage and this is garbage i can't do anything with any of this and no i am not drilling that out that is an 800 dollar seat when i pay 800 dollars for something it better work speedway it better work 
I went through the parts list. It's all there. Everything that's supposed to fit this seat was in that box. It is not. Everybody wonders why I get so hot headed. I say, damn, mother, son of a bitch. I say it all because of like this. All I need to do is put it in and measure it out. And I cannot do that with the parts that were sent to me for $800. Thanks, Speedway Motors. You f owe me one. You just sent me back another week. Probably two weeks. Thanks. I gotta go to Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Christ is risen. Easter dinner was good. Don't worry, I confess my sins. Because, boy, did I go on a rant, didn't I? Well, here's the situation. I got to read in the fine, fine print of this little kit, and it says may have to fabricate and drill and all that shit. So, why have it? Why didn't I just spend the money on the crap that would have fit almost perfectly in this car? Because I'm an idiot and I fell for it. So these are useless to me. So we'll hold on to this. So let me show you what I'm doing. So this is the slide kit that comes with this bracket. Or you can buy these separately, which I would have done. But anyway, here we are. So these need to go in here. They're too narrow. They end up about right here. So what I've done is I went to Menards, yep, open on Easter, bought me a bunch of metal for way too much money. I am going to cut this to length and drill holes to go across here. And then these will bolt into that. Finished, done. I even bought a damn chop saw. Why? Because I cut exhaust, I cut all kinds of stuff. I needed something, they had them on sale. So here we are. So let me measure this up. We'll get her bolted in. Cause I'm going to basically eyeball this cause I'm terrible. This thing might as well be in some forgotten Latin language because no. Anyway, let's go. And voila, them worked. Do you need to go the bigger size hole because I took these out, these little spacers that go in between because they don't, I don't think we need them. This is a passenger seat. If I need to, we can put those in the other side. We can check this side for Amber with this seat. And if it feels like it's just about that much too small, which I doubt it, we can put those in it. But uh, she's solid. She ain't going nowhere. Let's see what it looks like in the car. Oh my God. So I just had Amber out here test fitting it. She's off to see the movies. And this thing will not fit in this hole and give her enough sliding room to be able to drive it. She can't reach the damn pedals. As far as the height, it's perfect. We are going to have to remove this because this needs to go all the way back and there's nothing behind there. So I marked this hole to where this is and I don't, yeah, that's, that side's got to go up, but I marked it right there so I can drill that out. And what I think I'm going to do, we get a flashlight in here. I'm going to make a plate. That'll go from here to there. Uh, and just make it a square plate that this can hook up to because I've got square tubing to go across the back and I'll make it fit. But as long as that front one, I just want it to stay. And uh, we'll probably have to do something crazy over here. 
yeah we'll just uh i'll make the plate to go from this solid right here to right there it'll actually be right there and then i'll just set it up with washers and shims and and whatnots but that's the driver's side anyway so this is the passenger seat because i wanted to see what it looked like over there progress man but that sucker solid it it's i figured out the seat so that's all we need now i just got to get some more steel because i don't trust that i've already had this peeled up you know there's nothing there so i want a solid piece of steel that'll come up i can bolt it on these two holes and then we'll make sure this is bolted solid to that and we'll try to do something similar in the back because these holes are good i can get two pieces of steel ah that's what we'll do that right there is solid too they're solid through there so we'll put we need two pieces of steel i may have that i've got this sitting on a ratchet right now that's how that's how i know it's even but it's progress man getting dark so i'm gonna have to pop the lights on see what else we can get done today i ain't touching a seat today that's for damn sure so i gotta do the same thing over there with the plate that i was talking about to get that thing to sit even and that's fine that way i don't have anything really resting on the floor itself it'll have steel bracing right out of the, the normal braces so we're gonna go with that i think that's probably my best idea but i think i'm not real sure as long as i got you know here and there here and there when they're, if they're solid i think we're good so this will be right there and the other side will be in the same place and then i've got tube steel that'll go under to uh even this out and then we can adjust it once i get it in here it won't be too hard to just cut 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 until i get it to where she's in her liking and that's comfortable but that's a wrangler cj7 it was cheap it was like 50 dollars then i'm just going to make a brace to just fit right to it and that's going to be the center console i'm sure there's better ones out there but i'm a cheap bastard and i've already spent enough I think I am going to try to find a different steering wheel for this car because this thing is huge Maybe something cool like a blue that matches the color or something, but everything seems to be solid uh, I'm off tomorrow because I got to go to Springfield to get my three thousand dollar plate for my semi So I'll be able to work on this tomorrow, too Maybe we can because I, I actually did I don't have my light on my big-ass light but uh, I did cut this too short. I cut that one way too short. And I can't use it. And there ain't enough there to do it. So I am going to have to get another small piece of this right here. Nice thing is, is my neighbor has, he, up the road, he's got a welding shop. So that'll help. I need to pick up the rest of this garbage so I don't leave it outside because it keeps acting like it wants to hail or I don't know. It just feels weird, but then there's stars up there. So I don't know. I can't see it with this damn camera. I don't pick up dark for shit. Anyway, next. Well, I went ahead and put that uh, kick panel piece in. Got it all nice and painted and sealed up. But one thing we need to do while we're waiting for daylight to work on seats and I can get the metal. I've got carpet, I've got kill mat, I got all kinds of stuff we're gonna do in there. It's coming. But there's a lot of shit under here that needs to go. It needs to get out of there. Got no place for it. Most of it's heating and air conditioning crap. Since that thing was broken out, I'm not even gonna deal. So we're just going to start taking all the extra garbage out of here that we we ain't going to use, frankly. Uh, it's just going to get in the way. The plan is, if I got time before Power Tour, 
I'll take the the HVAC system completely out but if I don't have time we just ain't gonna get to it so I'm gonna go ahead and get all the hoses this thing still has all the AC and heater hoses that go to the back so I may take those out too so they don't fall out get crappy but we're gonna go ahead and get all this air conditioning shit out of here I'm gonna take the condenser out so we get more air to the freaking radiator we got a lot to do under here might as well just get it done it's nice out hopefully the wind and shit ain't too bad on that mic I could put my you know my regular lavalier lavalier mic whatever let me just start tearing down huh this just gets stuff out of the way oh that's old antifreeze and what else we got we got those need to get to this one damn what do I do with it what do I do with the razor that thing is going to piss me off or break there we go okay. here's the dryer Now that's out of my way. We need to get a smaller dipstick. Definitely. Well, I think that's going to do me for tonight. Definitely. I'm worn the hell out. I got to drive to Springfield in the morning. I'm going to hopefully have a video out. It may be on there already by the time you see this. I don't know. But I'm going to uh, take Bonnie back to Springfield to get my plates. I'm gonna bring her back to where I picked her up. Kind of a full circle type of thing. So I'll get back with you. It'll be daylight and I get home. I'll, I'll get back on this thing. I got a few more things. I'm trying to find some wiper refills for it because these take them refills and they're hard to find. It's probably gonna have to buy the ones that you know you make yourself. I don't know. She sure is a pretty thing. Got all that cleaned up over there. It's getting there got to get this off get that that uh, what you call it air conditioning thing out of there and I did get that screen back on so no more crap gets down in there I'm gonna work on that a little bit make me put something thicker because we don't have any reason for air to get there no more they don't need to go there so we may uh, thicken that up a little bit maybe some screen or something but uh might try to find a power steering front for this old guy maybe maybe because that thing leaks a little it's full of oil so i don't think it's leaking i mean once we get the seats in and the carpet and everything we can start driving it and i can do the rest as we go so yeah i did get a dipstick ordered too but yeah all right i'll see you in the morning how about them apples I was able to go right through the original brace and this metal back here strong enough where I don't have to do nothing. Just had to put a couple of small spacers underneath the back just to raise it up enough. But now this is all the way forward and all the way up and it's perfect for her. Or long legs McGee gets in here. It's plenty right about there that's perfect so we can get your arm out the window arm on the console perfect i will say even after my rant these braces i've used them before they're pretty good especially for a car like this because it's so high you know everything's so high in here that if I was to use those little regular mounts for these seats, I couldn't even see over the damn dash. So this is perfect for her. I just gotta put the other seat in the exact same position. Shouldn't have to touch the thing. And that means I gotta fill some more holes because there's a bunch of holes here that need to be filled in my, you know, and I may run some of this on other places I need to sand it down. Some places I'm not gonna sand it down. But, uh, 
Yeah, let's call that a win. We'll just keep moving. I'll get that other seat in and it don't take nothing. I just marked it with a paint marker on the holes, drilled them through, found the bolts that'll fit it, Use some old crappy corroded bolts that'll probably rust completely together and I'll never be able to get the seats back out without cutting the bolts, but whatever. At least I know they're solid. All right. Let me get that other seat in. Well, hey, you know how we do it here. Where there's a will, there's a one out of 10 chance it's gonna be the way. And I got it. Installed. Of course, I gotta take it all back out, but all solid. The console ain't in yet. I gotta make a bracket for that, but these seats are in the exact same spots on the brace, okay? So I also found that underneath my awesome craftsmanship down there, that corrugated steel, where the bolts needed to be, it was still solid metal underneath there and it wasn't rusted. I had treated it and it still ain't rusted, it's still painted. So I drilled right through that, put the block underneath it, pushed up and drilled through it. That way I actually secured that floor better than it was. This sucker ain't going nowhere. So now I gotta take all this shit back out because I need to vacuum and we need to paint the back part and let it dry and then I gotta get the kill mat started. Yay, never done it before, that'd be fun. But hey, this is a big deal. Seats worked, I had to do it my own way. Left Speedway a nice little message, but I'm over it, passed it, it was a bad night. I still gotta fill the holes that I didn't use and clean up, paint, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, I got the, got the seats out and everything and just kinda went crazy. This is a hole where water will come up and it'll get up in here, I've, I've witnessed it happen. And I got these holes all filled. Just little things, you know. Like if I had some more, I probably would have done that whole damn line down this side. But nah, she's good. Did the other side too. And this stuff is drying. Oh yeah, she dried good. And then I'm just gonna roughly sand it down and that's gonna be it. I ain't messing with it too much. I don't see anything else that would possibly need it. And if I see something from underneath, we'll just do it from underneath or styrofoam it for that matter, you know? But uh, we should be, in fact, good to go. As soon as this gets uh, dry, we'll sand her down and start putting on some kill mat. Yes sir, yes sir. Shit, I didn't get my roller yet. I wonder if I can put kill mat in without rolling it. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out, huh? Well, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's about 7.30. Been a long ass day. Had to go to Springfield and everything else. So I'll get back to this tomorrow night when I get home. It's going to be a lot of night work because, you know, I get home at night. So I'm going to let that settle and it'll be good and hard. I can I can get it all sanded off just, just well enough to where it'll take a little bit of paint because I'm going to repaint all that again. And uh, may do a few more things. I might put some little bit heavier sheet metal on that passenger side just that, you know. But I really don't have to do that. Maybe I'll throw some crap on the bottom of it and just stick it to it. As long as it's got a little bit more stability there, it's fine. But uh, that'll do it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, Heidi ho guess what? It's a few days later. It's actually nice out. Rained like a son of a bitch for days here in Illinois. And there was only one or two drops of water in this ambulance. And that came from the windshield. But there's nothing I can do about that. Not right now anyway. We'll have to do that another time. So, today, let's get to grinding that glass down. Get to doing a few little things. Then we're gonna throw some kill mat in this floor. Okay, so all I'm doing is breaking down the sharp edges. Other than that, I don't care. But I did notice this. Now, the other side had a couple drops too. There's nothing leaking above, okay? Nothing. It's coming from right here. For some reason, it's leaking through the door seals, I believe because that's wet right there. 
So it's coming through the door seals. That's the only thing I can think of because there's no other holes. So we're gonna have to look into that, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We gotta we gotta keep moving. So I'm gonna vacuum this water out. I may drill a hole that way just in case I don't get it fixed. It, it you know it's got somewhere to go, and I'll even do it in the kill mat too once I get it down. But pretty much got all this broke down as good as it's gonna get. I'll throw some paint back here after I clean it up, and then we'll start throwing some kill mat in here. Then I got some brackets for that center console I need to figure out. I ain't quite figured out how to do that yet. This is still pretty strong. I mean, it's holding all that, so I may be able to just use some self-tappers and a brackets. I've got some brackets, so. All right, let me finish up here. I got this kill mat stuff, and I'm going to start up here in the center and work my way out. Uh, I'm gonna do these long ways, I believe. I can't remember. I guess it really doesn't matter. Use special trim remover tool to trim to avoid breaking and losing clips. Yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And dry, grease free. Yep, it is, almost. So we're gonna start up here in the center and work our way down. There we go, more cockaburs. So we just take this off here. Now do we go long ways or long ways? I think it don't matter. Uh, we'll just overlap it. Look at that. Hey, this, this is, not bad at all. We'll just keep on going the same way. Pull that off there. All the way back. And so far, this shit, the bomb. It's heavy as all hell. Yeah. Heck yeah. This is working good. thing always got so hot right here at your feet on both sides so we're gonna take care of that problem with the exhaust that I have for this car yep I bought exhaust nice thing you use this roller it stretches out a bit it's down in all your little creases little spots and do it a once over plus this stuff warms up it'll next side looks like we're gonna have a damn plenty plenty of wax paper one box baby it was perfect I cut a little pieces to get them in all the little spots yes sir yes sir neighbors are mowing and I'm not gonna stop them because I need to do the same thing not that I can stop them anyway, it's their yard. But kill matted, one box, whole floor, badass. And it's, it's, it's solid, everything. Everything now, just nothing rattles. I'm sure none of the heat will get through. So should be in good shape. I like that stuff. That's the first time I've ever used it. That's fun. It's like putting Legos together. So here's our carpet. Pretty good stuff. Pretty nice. This Auto Custom Carpets Incorporated. They, they put out some good stuff. I've used it in a bunch of my vehicles. And it's got the, I just got the basic sound deadening mat on the bottom. And you know, I let them sit out here in the sun. This is the back part. I'm gonna use as much of this as I can. So yeah, I'll let some of this go up the wall. Should be fine, I got it sitting out here in the kinda sun. But uh, while this is sitting out and kinda getting settled, looks to be okay, I'm going to work on 
console. I need to figure out how I'm gonna put this console in here. So let me let me do some looking and I'll get back. So the seat isn't all the way forward, it's close, but it's in where it needs to be. And I put this in and I used the bracket that came with it, screwed it to the bottom, and I need to put a bracket on the back and that'll hold it like that and that should be should be good enough if i have to i'll put one on the front too but i think one in the back and one in the middle if not i can put more on but i'm gonna have to take that out we'll have to put it in after the carpet's in because we're ready for it all righty so i'll get that back out get the seat out of the way and let's get some carpet in here get our carpet yeah Here we got everything up to snoof. There's our there's our pins. It should be about where it needs to be. So I got this pretty well where it needs to be. It's gonna be a little lumpy for a while. Uh, this is broke off actually. This is supposed to sit, you know, on top of that, but it's gone, so I ain't worried about that. I would like to clean this up a little. Uh, other than that, we can sit on this. That'll hold that. And this will eventually, you know, it'll settle. If not, who cares, it's covered. But uh, that's all I had to trim off of this side. This ain't permanently in yet. I just gotta, I gotta get the screws in it yet. But uh, it's close. And we'll start working on that other side. It's, that other side is perfect. But I went ahead and pulled it to here. And that should leave a little bit of that, yep, on the hump. So, and this comes right to the edge, right there. So that's perfect. I got that carpet in there good. Like I said, it needs to settle. Warmer weather will help that. But, uh, okay. I wanna clean this thing up before I go ahead and I'm gonna stick this in here and that way it's done, it's stuck. Then I can work on that other side. But uh, we're almost there. So uh, let me get these cleaned up. That way we know that's ready to go. And then we'll start working on that other side. Well, clean that up about as best I could. They are, this thing is beat to shit. I mean, like it is, there ain't a lot of left of it. Just kind of beat it down, put self tappers in it because the screws were just wallered out. So now, we should be in good shape. Got this in. It's solid. Carpet looks good. I'm gonna put my weight over here. Not that it matters because we got it where we want it there. This is just gonna have to gonna have to deal. Let's see. Just like that. Once we get the seat on there, it'll stretch. I want to leave a little bit for it to settle. And then that's going to be covered up, so we ain't worried about that. All right, get on that other side. All right, so the way I do this is pretty simple. I uh, can't find my pick, but uh, I take a pick, and you can go through the bottom on all your holes, and you heat this up, stick it down through the hole, and it'll, it'll heat up the nylon and everything in there and it'll you know strengthen it so it doesn't fray but uh i'm gonna do this to every single hole some of them i have to find it ain't that easy because there's no hole to the bottom if you get this hot enough that should be enough to get it, we should mine would click off. 
but you can just follow your screw. I got a little screwdriver in here, but usually I use a pick and you can just follow the pick down like that. Just like that. Yep. Now, that's a perfect hole in your carpet. Anyway, that's how you do it. I need to go get some cardboard though, because sitting on the rocks sucks. Well, all right. They're in. Carpet's in. Don't have to do anything else over here except put the uh, seat belt things in. Got to put them in over there too, but I'm going to run speaker wire. So I'll probably have to pop these up again, but I want these to settle. I want everything to settle where it needs to be. But everything's tight. Might put some different bolts in it. I don't know. I don't really care. It, it's fine. I got to get mama out here, sit down. So I can put that console in there and make sure it's right where she wants it. So let me go get her to do that. Guys, that's not even the same car. Look at that. It's in there halfway decent. A little bit crooked, but it's good. Everything works. It's solid enough. Whoo! Roof. Don't mind the bird shit. And interior done. The rest, interior wise, is all accommodational. Stereo, get the smaller gauges in it. Yeah, CB. Now we gotta glue this up yet. Cause we had to take that off so the seats would fit. But yeah. So interior, as far as I'm concerned, done. All right, so I got her cleaned up enough for Amber to drive it. Uh, I'm still gonna work on it, but I wanna make sure she can drive it because that's what she wants to do. It's driving season. Get the battery hooked back up. I did get the cow net put back on and that thing is gonna get a screen on it. I'm not done with that yet. So let's, uh, let's fire up. I'll see what it sounds like inside. Did get seat belts in too. Been sitting a little bit. Oh my God. It's, it's like a new, new car in here. Sixty pounds of oil pressure. Before you couldn't even sit. You you couldn't sit in here. You couldn't talk. You couldn't anything. Boy, this is this is unreal. Huh? And if you open the door. Oh yeah, that's what it sounded like whenever before I did all this. needs a tuning yet. Wow. I ain't got my dipstick. That's starting to piss me off. That little bit of an engine, the exhaust leak over there. I ain't worried about that. But we got to get plugs in this thing. We got to tune that carburetor. We got to adjust that timing just a hair. We got to get this condenser out of there.
Sounds like Pontiac. The wipers work. Got to get them rolling. Yep, they work. Lights. Double checking stuff here. There's one. Tail, tail. Side. Headlight, headlight. What about brights? No brights. There's the Indian. Got an Indian head for a brights thing. The brights do not work. I remember that now. They don't work. That's okay. Markers work. Hell to the yay. Timing. All timing. That's all right, we'll get that. Well, there's part of the interior done. Still gotta put stereo and stuff in there, but I don't know, if you guys wanna watch that? I might film it, I might not, I don't know. I don't know. We still got all that shit to do in the back, but that's a lot of cosmetics, uh, tuning and exhaust is my main concern now. And then I also have my treatment I'm gonna be putting on this and it is Poppy's Patina. That's right, Poppy's gave me the stuff and are helping me with this patina finish with their clear coat for this car and Blanche. So. This car is gonna look amazing. I'm not sure when I'll get to the exhaust part of it, but it does need to be done too. Uh, but we got interior stuff in the back and I have a few more windows to fix, but you already seen me do that. I'm not gonna show you again. Hey, this thing's coming right along, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Big news on merch coming up. I'm gonna have my own website for all the merch you want, so. Take care. We'll see you on the uh, next one when we start doing some mechanical stuff. Finally, I love mechanical stuff. I hate body work. I, I don't ever want to do it again, but I probably will. See ya.